Today, I'm expecting some afternoon scattered thunderstorm activity. I'm UF forecaster Anthony Bordenauer, and today, temperatures will also be getting into the lower 90s with rain chances throughout the day. Let's time those out for you. So you notice most of it is scattered by our 3 p.m. hours, some still west of the I-75 quarter. Then they gradually make their way east, becoming a little bit more organized. And uh, folks in Putnam County could expect some storms as late as 10 p.m. tomorrow. And then as we head into our overnight hours, the skies will begin to dry up and it will be mostly pleasant for our Saturday morning. Today, temperatures will continue to climb into the lower 90s. 91 in Palaka, 90 in Bronson, 91 in Gainesville, 91 in High Springs with that southerly flow bringing in those warmer temperatures. But it's going to be feeling much warmer than that. Take a look at this. Triple digit heat indices are possible for our area. I don't think they'll be getting as high as 106 or 107, but the message remains the same. We haven't seen these uh, heat indices for a while, so if you're sensitive to these temperatures, definitely do take the, uh, the proper precautions. The temperatures overnight will be dropping into the lower 70s. It's going to be getting into around 73 in Ocala, 72 in Palaka, 72 in Gainesville, 71 by Cross City, and towards the I-10 corridor, more like uh, 70 or 71 degrees. I'm expecting these conditions to last over the next couple of days as a low pressure system hangs around. It's going to be bringing in a southerly flow, bringing in warmer temperatures and heightened rain chances. But then a high pressure system tries to move in and dry us out a little bit. Won't be uh, doing that good of a job because rain chances are still high as we head into the weekend. Uh, rain chances, though, start today. Uh, higher rain chances, at least. Triple digit heat indices are likely for our weekend and it's noticeably cooler by midweek. And that's reflected on my six day updated forecast. For the next three days, temperatures will continue to be in the lower 90s. But as you head into the beginning of next week, temperatures return to about seasonal norms and it gets a little bit drier.